Today, I'm going to explain a South Korean action series called Weak Hero Class 1. Park Ji-hoon is a high school student with an extraordinary talent. He can solve complex mathematical equations in his mind, with the help of which he performs daily activities. He runs, plays, and even fights using math. But being a genius comes at a cost. Ji-hoon has zero social life. He spends his entire day studying and barely talks to anyone. It is rumored that Ji-hoon has never smiled in his life. Because of this, he has no friends. In fact, all of his classmates call him a creep. But Ji-hoon doesn't care. The only thing he takes seriously is his exams. One day, he wins a prestigious award for his excellence in studies. This makes all the students jealous, in particular Su Gyom, the class bully. So, he decides to go after Ji Hoon. He smacks the genius with a slipper and pretends that it was an accident. However, Ji Hoon doesn't retaliate. He simply says, don't do that again. Su Gyom takes that as a threat and prepares to beat him up. But just then, some senior boys barge inside the class. They are looking for a certain Hyun Wook, who apparently teased one of their girls. Then, from the last bench, a seemingly nonchalant boy gets up from his sleep. He introduces himself as Hyun Wook and tries talking his way out of the situation. However, the seniors are having none of it, and they soon attack him. The entire class looks on with fear in their eyes, and it appears as if Hyun Wook is going to get his ass handed to him. But shockingly, despite being outnumbered, he dishes out a brutal punishment on his seniors. He doesn't even break a sweat during the entire fight. All the students are left in awe of Hyun Wook's martial arts skills, but Ji Hoon can't wait for for it to end so that he can continue studying. The next day, Su Gyom and his bully gang again tries to intimidate Ji Hoon. They hide his books and pretend as if they didn't do it. Later, a frustrated Ji Hoon confronts them in the storeroom and asks them to stop. Unfortunately, it turns out to be a bad idea as the bullies quickly corner him and beat him up. Punch that into your calculator, Ji Hoon. Ji Hoon is left humiliated in front of the entire class, but he is not bothered one bit. The bullies notice this and become frustrated. No matter how much they try to break him, he stands strong. But just then, Su Gyom comes up with an idea. He knows that Ji Hoon only cares about his grades, so he suggests they ruin his exams. At night, the bullies go to a nightclub and buy some narcotics from a local dealer. Su Gyom also buys a packet of fentanyl patches, an illegal substance that causes people to hallucinate and pure puke if applied to the neck. The following day, a new student arrives in class. He is Byom Siok, a shy and nerdy guy who happens to be the son of a wealthy minister. The bully, Su Gyom, immediately identifies him as his next target. So, he does a little research and finds out that Byom Siok actually transferred schools because he was excessively bullied in the last one. Su Gyom uses this information and blackmails Byom Siok to do something evil. Since the exams are going to start in an hour, he wants the nerd to stick the fentanyl patch on Ji Hoon neck, Byom Siok has no choice but to agree. So, as soon as the exam starts, he slaps Ji Hoon from the back and cleverly sticks on the narcotic patch. The latter is angry that he was disturbed, but Byom Siok lies that he was just swatting away a fly. Soon, Ji Hoon starts feeling dizzy, prompting him to rush to the bathroom. There, he pukes for hours, and by the time he returns, the exam is already over. Ji Hoon loses it when he realizes that he is going to fail for the first time in his life. He grabs a pen and heads towards the bullies to punish them. Along the way, everything turns into slow motion, and Ji Hoon uses his extraordinary brain to calculate his moves. He then picks up a thick book and smacks Su Gyom right across the face. The nearby bully tries to react, but Ji Hoon stabs his hand with his pen. Then he covers Su Gyom's face with a curtain and repeatedly bashes his head with the book. The punishment is so brutal that all the students can only watch in fear. Fortunately, before Ji Hoon kills the boy, the martial arts expert of the class, Hyung Wook, stops him. The scene then cuts to the hospital, where Su Gyom is being treated for the injuries. His mother is by his side, and she believes that he was bullied. Soon, Ji Hoon arrives with the school's principal and issues an apology. However, Su Gyom's mom wants him expelled, believing that he is a notorious boy who can harm other students. Hearing this, Ji Hoon brings out the narcotic patch that her son had stuck on his neck. The principal is shocked to learn that one of her students is dealing with illegal substances. Hence, instead of punishing Ji Hoon, she berates Su Gyom. The next day, when Ji Hoon enters the class, all the students treat him with respect. Even the bullies are terrified of him. The nerd, Byom Sok, tries to apologize, but Ji Hoon ignores him and walks away. In the meantime, Su Gyom is visited by his gangster cousin, Siok Dae, in the hospital. Humiliated by the recent developments, Su Gyom wants to take revenge. Hence, he pays his cousin a hefty amount to punish Ji Hoon. A few days later, Su Gyom finally recovers and sets his plan in motion. He, along with the gangsters, wait for Ji Hoon at the entrance of the school. 
Soon, the math genius arrives, and Siak Day starts off the proceedings by slapping him across the face. Then, they escort him away to a quieter place to beat him up. Biom Siak notices all of this, and he immediately heads to the one person who can fight the gangsters, Hyun Wook. The latter is sleeping and wants nothing to do with others' affairs, but when Biom Siak promises to pay him $500, he agrees. The two then hop into his scooter and start looking for the classmate. Elsewhere, Ji Hoon is getting beat up by Su Giam and the gangsters. Using his mathematical skills, he tries to put up a fight, but to no avail. Su Giam repeatedly kicks him in the head, but fortunately, before any serious damage is done, Hyun Wook comes flying with a karate kick. He starts tussling with Siak Day, while the others gang up on Ji Hoon. Even the nerd Biom Siak chips in to help his friends. Eventually, the good guys prevail, leaving Su Giam and his cousin humiliated. In order to celebrate their victory, Hyun Wook takes the boys to the restaurant where he works part-time. They have a lovely meal and enjoy their time together. Ji Hoon, who is a hardcore introvert, is having dinner with other boys for the first time in his life. Elsewhere, Siak Day is summoned by his boss, Gil Su, who is angry that he got beat up by some kids. Gil Su promises to take revenge, but at first, he punishes Siak Day to the point that he breaks his arm. In the next scene, we see Ji Hoon buying some stuff from a department store. At the same time, one of Siak Day's colleagues is seen shoplifting. She picks up lipstick, bites the upper part, and hides it inside her back. What? What is she, a reverse kangaroo? When a woman notices her, she immediately runs to Ji Hoon and pretends to be his friend. The latter doesn't know how to react, so he simply escorts her out. But since it is raining and the girl doesn't have an umbrella, he now has to drop her off at home. Along the way, they enter a restaurant and have lunch. The girl finally introduces herself as Young Yi, an orphan who is living with Siak Day and other friends. Since she has no relatives or money, Young Yi started working for the notorious gangster Gil Su. She then asks Ji Hoon to tell her about himself, but of course, he won't speak. Hence, she departs the place, but not before saving her number in his phone. The following day, Su Giam finally rejoins school after the series of embarrassments he suffered at the hands of Ji Hoon. He goes straight to the three boys and reveals that he is in trouble. Because of the narcotics found on him, he is being sent to juvenile detention, and the only way to avoid it is if Ji Hoon and Biom Siak testify that he is innocent. To show that he is not lying, Su Giam even drops to his knees and starts crying. Seeing this, the boys decide to pee on his head. I, I mean, help him. Su Giam then escorts them to a parking lot where Gil Su and his gang members are waiting. Young Yi is also present, and as she watches on, Gil Su approaches the boys and threatens them to provide $15,000 compensation for beating up his men. They have three days to do so, or else their families will pay for it. Before leaving, Gil Su makes a small cut on Hyun Wook's face to give them a demo of what will happen if they don't pay up. From that day onwards, the boys are followed wherever they go. The gangsters make sure that they don't escape the city. Out of the three, Biom Siak is the most anxious because he fears his father will find out about it. So, on the deadline day, he sneaks into his dad's room and steals an expensive watch. On the other hand, Ji Hoon decides to call the cops, but first he wants to gather information on Gil Su's illegal activities. So, he contacts Young Yi and meets her at a restaurant. As they talk, Ji Hoon gets to know that Young Yi hates her boss as much as he does. She is tired of his ruthlessness towards teenagers like her. Hence, to take him down, Young Yi reveals about all of his illicit activities. It turns out that Gil Su has an illegal betting app where people always win a few hundred dollars at first. However, once they become interested and bet more money, they lose. That's not illegal, that's just how gambling works. In this way, hundreds of students go into debt. Gil Su tracks every single one of them and provides them with money. When they can't pay him back, he forces them to join his gang and do illegal stuff. The next morning, the three friends gather in class and decide their plan. Biom Siak has the 15,000 with him, but the other two assert that it is not required. Then, Ji Hoon reveals everything he knows about the notorious gangster and his activities. His idea is to somehow reach Gil Su's place, call the police from there, and catch him red-handed. Shortly after, the three exit the class and see the gangsters waiting for them. Since it's a dangerous mission, Hyun Wook decides to go alone. He approaches Gil Su and straight away mentions the gambling app. According to Hyun Wook, the cheating scheme in the app is flawed and can be beaten. He explains explains the entire process, leaving Gil Su in shock. At last, he proposes that they have a meeting at Gil Su's place so that they can work on the app together and improve it. The gangster boss immediately agrees and asks Hyun Wook to get into his car. After they leave, a scared Biom Siak also departs in a cab, fearing that their friend might get into trouble. Meanwhile, Hyun Wook arrives at the gangster's hideout and secretly texts the location to his friends using his smartwatch. Unfortunately, his intentions are soon discovered, so the gangsters beat him to a pulp. Shortly after, a scared Biom Siak arrives at the location and tries to offer the cash, but he too is apprehended. Gil Su and his 
gangsters then pack all the essentials and flee the place, right before Ji Hoon arrives with the cops. In the next scene, an enraged Gil Su calls Siok Dae and berates him for allowing the boys to trick them. He then reveals his location and asks him to join him immediately. Siok Dae knows that he's going to get punished, so he decides to go alone, but Young Yi insists on going with him. Reluctantly, he agrees. After a while, Ji Hoon calls Young Yi and inquires if she knows where Gil Su has taken his friends. The latter texts him her live location, asking him to bring the cops ASAP. Meanwhile, Gil Su and his gangsters have gathered at an abandoned amusement park. They have tied up the two boys and are preparing to execute them for treachery. Just then, Siak Dae shows up with Young Yi, enraged that he brought the girl along. Gil Su starts battering him with a metal bar, but this time, surprisingly, Siak Dae fights back. Tired of all the abuse and punishment and over the years, he has decided to take a stand. The other gangsters also don't intervene, and with this, Siak Dae and Gil Su engage in a professional fight. It goes back and forth for a while, but in the end, using his experience, Gil Su gains the upper hand. After subduing Siak Dae, he goes after Young Yi and begins choking her. But suddenly, police sirens are heard in the background. The terrified gangsters quickly run away, and as soon as they do, Ji Hoon shows up. He immediately goes to his friends and unties them. However, as as they prepare to leave, Gil Su and his gangsters return with Ji Hoon's mobile phone. It turns out that the police sirens were fake. They were simply an audio clip played on the phone. As a result, another fight ensues. Hyun Wook, despite being injured, takes out several guys, while Ji Hoon also subdues a few with his intelligence. Have some long division, boys. But right then, the cops finally show up for real. Now, all the bad guys are arrested, except for Young Yi, who manages to run away. Following this, we are taken to the police station, where Ji Hoon and Biam Siak have been called to give their statements. Once they are done, Biam Siak's personal lawyer meets them and provides some good news. They will be completely forgotten from the case, as if they were never involved in it. This makes Ji Hoon somewhat relieved, as now, he can finally focus on his studies again. In the final scene, he, along with Young Yi, visits Hyun Wook at the hospital. The latter has a few broken bones, but yet, he is still in the mood to joke. Seeing him so happy and cheerful, Ji Hoon smiles for the first time in years, shocking everyone in the room.